Have you been scared of complex DAX or not knowing how to do one of the complex or simple DAX as the case may be? Just keep your scare one side because Microsoft has introduced Copilot and Copilot is an interactive AI that you can use to um, portray or actually express your problem to Copilot and it's going to give you the response in DAX. So all the days of not knowing how to write DAX is gone. With Microsoft Copilot, you are actually going to um, see how it is very very easy to generate your DAX with complex and easy DAX. So in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use Microsoft Copilot to achieve this. Before we go on, don't forget to like and also subscribe. Then let me know what you think about this particular Copilot in the comment sections. So now we'll go. Uh, I'll be going to my reports page. So first things first, you need to have a Microsoft developer account. If you don't have one, hit the link in the description i'll be dropping it in the description for you to get it it's free license and also you can use it for most of your development in microsoft 365 apps so hit the video they are seeing on the screen right now or go to the description to actually get this microsoft 365 account because it's one of the requirements that you'll be needing to actually activate the co-pilot so i want to create a new measure now i want to create a new a new measure normal if you want to create a new measure you have to um know how to implement or write some DAX. but in this case with microsoft copilot i i can either choose to write my DAX or just give it instruction in my natural language and it's going to generate a DAX for me so let's create a quick measure so i'll go to my quick measure then i have calculation um i can just use this one I, for instance i don't want to write that i can use these descriptions already generated by microsoft power bi to get my DAX done so for instance i want the average per category so i can say okay i want the average per category then what's going to be the base value the base value should be um it should be my revenue my revenue then what's the category i'm looking for so i can say the category can be in the region so i'll add it up so it's actually going to uh, generate a new measure for me in my data pane so you can see a new measure has already been created revenue um, average per category so let's see how it goes and look at the dax over here the dax that is generated um on the normal circumstance all i have to do is just write all these dax but with calculations i can just um drag and drop and then it generates the dax for me so let's see revenue average per category so i'm going to be showing you guys in two ways this calculation and also suggestion with um copilot so we can compare and see what is going to give us so i want my revenue let me put it in a card so that you can see it uh revenue average category and then let's put it in a card there's my card here we have it so revenue average per category so this one we used just a normal drag and drop to achieve this first one by my left then let's get the second one using interactive um co-pilot in microsoft power bi so you can see once you come in here it is going to ask you to um sign in if you if you um have not signed in already in my own case i've already signed in so um they didn't require me to sign in so you must first of all have to sign in 
after signing in then you go to your file after going to your file you go to options and settings go to options then you have to activate or rather enable some preview so go to preview preview features then you have to enable this q and a for and also quick measure suggestion so you have to enable quick measure suggestion if you want you can enable q and a in case you want to also enable your q and a so but requirement is this you must have to enable this just tick it and then click on okay so it's going to tell you to shorten your um, power bi and also um log in again like close it and then open it again so once you have done this on your microsoft power bi desktop you also have to go to your microsoft service to actually um use the admin tenant to actually activate this in your admin tenant so here i am in my microsoft power bi service in your power bi service you see this interface go hit the um, settings icon here then go down to admin portal once you are in admin portal you should just scroll down scroll down to the bottom and then activate the same thing that you did in your power bi desktop so quick measures allow quick measure suggestion so you can see in my own case it is already enabled if you get yours you see it disabled so just enable it and then apply same with this one enable also and apply so once you apply everything is all set then you can now go to your microsoft power bi desktop and then continue your natural language so you can see it says use natural language to describe the measure you need like total sales for canada this year and it is going to bring it up for you in dax so in our own case i want to get the average revenue per region so i can say uh give me the average the average the average revenue per region give me the average revenue per region so yes so it's going to tell you to specify this thing is has brought up some suggestion for me which of the data um, column am i going for so i can see that it's here give me the average revenue per data region this data highlighted that is made in bold tells you the table that it wants to get it from these are my tables and i want to get it from my data table so let's see how it goes i'll click on it and then generate so just give it some time it's going to generate and then you can now put it in your report okay we were into to suggest set a calculation no give me average oh revenue you see i didn't spare my revenue quite well so it's training at an error so give me the average revenue per region per data region yeah. yeah let's try again and see so you should be connected to the internet to actually achieve this one of the things that you need to do as well so it's taking time i don't know what's the error it's trying uh, where i would suggest any measure try selecting let's keep on trying i think this has to do it give me the average revenue per region per region you can see i have double region here so let's remove that and then try again
so it should be able to generate now given that um, I can't find any error in our statement again let's see if some error is going to be thrown it's taking time oops give me the revenue the revenue per region give me the revenue the average revenue average revenue revenue per Our region in data table from data table rather from data table generates let's see what's going to give us voila um i think we have our um dax under here already so you can see i just write give me the average revenue per region from data table this is our table and um, i want to get it from this particular table here and that's what it has actually given me now it has actually generated this for me see it has given me some preview values some preview results and then um then the calculation of its index so you can now just hit on add and then uh, it will be added in your report so here um let me give it copilot let me give it name so that we can copilot measures so that we can differentiate between that so i should have it already here uh one of our measures co-pilot measures so we have it here already so let me create a card for it and then we could now um compare and see what it's gonna give us so introducing my card co-pilot measures and then Introducing my card. Here we have it. Seventy two billion. So this is what we have seventy three billion using the suggestion. Mind you that the tags are quite different. So let's see the difference here. The dance is generated are quite different. So for copilot measures, um, this is the ad. It's used average X, and then for um, the first one that we did, which is this, it's used average s again but in a different context so this is all about it about microsoft copilot make sure you like subscribe and also let me know what you think about this artificial intelligence in the comment sections thank you and bye